In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the first manual flight I took my DJI Vada on as the first trial run. I wanted to bring it along on a base jump with my friends, Ryan and BB. So I'm gonna leave most of this video pretty uncut. Kind of show you guys the approach to this incredible base jump. And if you guys stick around to the end of this video, I compiled all the clips together into a little edit, kind of demonstrating the capabilities of the DJI Vada. All right, let's get rolling. Okay, so today we're going to one of my favorite spots to base jump in Arizona. Beautiful place. Uh, top of the Salt River, bottom of the Saguaro Lake. Um, still pitch black outside, so we should be getting there just about sunrise. But today we're going to test out flying uh, the new FPV drone that I got with actual base jumpers. So it should be pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked about this. Yeah, let's get to it. Baby boy, baby boy, <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> oh my god! Downwinder uphill. I hate that. Downwinder uphill. They'll like not get high enough and just drop him. Nothing. I just fucking but it's ran. No one Friends that were stationed there. I just, those three is like um, away from it and then how to win eat. I fucking hate Facebook. Yeah, it's that super, Facebook it's thing. real, it's really nice though because you get to like, you definitely hear about all the base fatalities first and then you see yeah. like conversation. Everyone of talks what about. what saying about what they did and what happened. Yeah. There's a lot of research you can get from it. Yeah, a lot of good shit. But dude, it's, he was like trying to correct and then he like did something like pulled on his rear or whatever and then his lines wrapped around his the camera. camera. Yeah. Yeah. So then like he it was stuck around the unicorn mount and shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was a whole fucking thing. Fuck me, it's so cold in the mornings now. It really oh. is. Oh shit. Does it get colder than this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he was there for like December. I was gonna say, most people only come here in the winter. Yeah. And then, like, never during the summer. He's weird. He likes the heat. I actually like the heat, too. I'll take the heat over, like, fucking how the north east gets. Well, yeah. Fucking awful. Gator. Oh my god. <laughs> so ridiculous. I just imagine, like, 12 Ryans in their marketing department actually doing that. What? Oh this exit is unofficially called a river wall. It's a little over 400 feet. Depending on which direction you push, there is a slab to the right and there is a wall towards the left. So you want to make sure you aim it just right so you get the most uh, altitude. Yeah, dude, why aren't you more eco friendly? They've pretty much gone though. The rain's still kind of through the way. Yeah, in Switzerland, they have a thing against everyone peeing in the exits. Really? Well, maybe yeah. it's just June, but in case, like, we were, like, far. Bad. Yeah, it was just, it was just. I didn't go to bed anymore because I fucking skated. I slept too long. Yeah. Because I didn't go to bed till like, 1 a.m. And I was like, fuck this. Just fuck me all over. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> And this is like the second or third flight that I took outside of DJI Simulator. So I'm still rough on the controls for manual flight, but pretty happy with some of the shots that I was able to get here. This is also such a beautiful location, it's pretty difficult to make it look bad. You'll see on this first pass, I cut it really hard, and the drone actually completely loses its heading. I end up saving it with the emergency brake. I've actually been running to this problem quite a bit. You know, digging through the internet a little bit, reading some Reddit forums, it seems like this is an error with the DJI Avada. If you guys have any information why this might be happening, you know, whether it's a firmware thing or it's me just piloting like an idiot, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear it. For this jump, Ryan and BB are gonna do a two-way. 
Bibi's gonna do a gainer going stowed and Ryan's gonna go handheld almost the same time as her. And I am gonna sit up top on the edge of a cliff with goggles on my face and try and get some footage of him. Devin? Yep. I can't see you, but I'm giving you a nut. All right, air nuts. God, what a beautiful place though. Looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, I swear. It's so cool. God, look at that, just the sky reflecting off the water. It's like a piece of glass, it's so cool. All right, I take another pass right here. Trying to climb as much as I can. Cut it real hard and boom. Luckily, I actually saved that one pretty quickly. Mostly because I was already expecting it to happen. Then here, getting ready for the final pass when BB and Ryan are about to go. Aim just right. Ah, oh, so sick. Just trying to get around to cut in front of BB and boom, lose it again. For this first flight, I wanted to make sure I maintained distance because I was expecting to lose my heading like this and have the drone essentially fall out of the sky. And I wanted to be sure if it did fall and I wasn't able to save it, it was not going to interfere with either one of them jumping at all because that could be very, very dangerous. So I fly around and try and get both of their landings. Then they're a few hundred feet off and I want to make sure that I'm out of the way of them flying. So I just cut around the side, film them from the back. I do have my gear set up to where I can pack the drone on me and then jump with it, but because the exit of this base jump is so narrow at the top of that peak, it is a little bit tricky to land there. So I expected to land the drone, make it a little easier so I didn't have to spend time landing it up top. I could kind of just pack away the remote and the goggles and then jump off. And that's exactly what I did. God damn. Face gets a little sweaty in there. All righty. Let's fucking get this. Three, two, Oh yeah, I didn't mean to jar you guys either, sorry. That scared me. <laughs> but I got you guys, I think it might look sick. Thank God we jumped in. Oh, there's a heli. Another one. God, this jump is so good. It's so sick. It's so good. Like, it's so chill. Like, quick as hike. And with that, I'll leave you guys with a short little edit I compiled. You know, shots I was able to salvage between the points where I caused the drone to fall out of the sky. Overall, I'm pretty happy. I mean, this is the first FPV drone that I've ever owned. Put about 10 to 20 hours in the simulator, so, you know, I'm happy where I'm at right now. And I think my piloting and the footage that comes from that is only gonna get better from here. So, hope you guys enjoy.